What is up, guys? We're back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, let's just get into it. The coffee shop Lapis Lazuli is a. Oh, shit. Android 17 and 18. And the blue thing from Minecraft. It's a quaint little spot here on Central Boulevard. It's calm and the clientele is generally a pretty nice crowd. For someone like Lu Subaki, this is a perfecto place. She really is one of the common folks. Where do you normally go to have fun? Oh, she's so pure. <laughs> what are you, a child? Uh, well, I guess not exactly. <sighs> Is this girl actually lonely? What I meant was, do you go shopping, sing at karaoke bars, you know, things that people your age normally like to do? <laughs> the diaries. That's because you write down everything. Me? How should I answer this? I like to play around with women. Huh? Who are you, Oh, this is so pure. Just kidding. Uh, to be honest, I'm glad you didn't get that one. <sighs> why are the why are children games the only thing she can come up with? If you really want an answer, it's music. The truth leaks out of my mouth before I can stop it. Huh? I don't know what that is, Visual K. You're into heavy music? Then I personally prefer classical. There she goes, taking notes again. Probably J.H. Bach. Ooh, Bach. I just told you, Bach. Oh, Bach, right? There are many Bachs in history. Because it's a family name, but the most famous Bach is the one I refer to. It's Joan Sebastian Bach. Some people just call him the Big Bach. Subaki suddenly stops writing. Why did you close your diary? A, a big smile? Is she trying to say I'm showing off or something? No, she's definitely not that type of person. Sure. A, a new box CD is coming out tomorrow. Of course, when I say new, it means a new complication of his works. Well, to be honest, I really am. I've been literally counting off the days to release off my fingertips. Can I take your plan for tomorrow to be a sign that you're ready to head home? You haven't even started the whole plane part yet. Oh well. Let's go then. I'll pay the tab. She gave me a thousand yen bill. Hold on, let me see if I have a 50 yen coin. Dang it, I just don't have the change. I'll go get some change. She insisted on giving me the money. No, I can't do that. I 
I stared at Subaki. I already told you I can't do that. Even if it's just 50 yen, money is still money. Subaki stopped smiling. Understand? Subaki once said, It's not nice to judge people you don't know. But I know without a shadow of a doubt that anyone who doesn't value money is in most cases evil. Damn, that's some tough. Jesus. I walked Tsubaki all the way to the subway station. Be careful on your way home. Tomorrow? Not a fucking face. I, I don't know how to respond, so we did. A new diary. There may be an emergency, but if that's all you want, I think I have some time. Yeah, um, that must have sounded kind of strange. A call? She really doesn't seem to be interested in me. Well, like I said, I should have the time. Tsubaki smiled and waved at me. Sayonara. Tsubaki walked down the subway station. Now, there's so many things I need to take care of today. Just as I was about to leave, I felt something tug at my memory. It's six right now. Didn't I have an appointment at six? Six? No, but at seven. Yeah, it's a cannon. So I don't know about cannon. I think so, actually. The skating rink or something. Oh, if I can't remember, then it probably wasn't too important. <gasps> Damn. What up? Damn, she ran. What happened? Why did you run back? Trying to catch your breath, Sabuki said. <gasps> oh, oh, but she doesn't have a phone. I chuckled. Oh, is that it? I told her my number. What's yours? Come on, why don't I remember? Uh, in this day and age? Ah, I, I don't know about that. But that's pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Let's buy one while we're out tomorrow. Girls like her are pretty rare these days. <laughs> Alright. This time, Tsubaki really left. But still, why did she become interested in me? I don't really... I don't think I should get too close to her. Trading upon the stones of Central Boulevard, I begin to walk home. I can't believe I forgot about my stepsister! People often say I'm absent-minded, but when it comes to money, I'll never miss a beat. The ones who could, the ones who do could never dream of reaching my level. When I arrived home, I immediately walked into the study and picked up the phone. Sorry to bother you. Are you by any chance the president of Katani Incorporated? On the other end of the line, the voice of a middle-aged man full of anger replied. He must think I'm weak just because I sounded young. My name is Azai Kiyosuke. Kiyosuke, nice to meet you. Kiyosuke. His voice faded. Right hand man. People used to say that I'm just a little small fry that leached off his father's position. Looks like people's opinion of me have risen recently. Ooh, shit. The Azai Corporation is a Yakuza group. Yakuza group with a diff with diffuse connections. 
throughout both the underworld and the police. Damn. It's also a major member of the Sawai, Sawa, Sawa Alliance. My father, Zaya Gonzo, is one of the leaders of the pack. Due to police crackdowns, the day when Yakuza used force to fight over territory has passed. On the verge of collapse, the Yakuza bosses gathered together and proposed a peaceful coexistence doctrine. Then they begin to use legitimate business as fonts. fronts. The ones that act as a spearhead for this conversation. Conversion from underground society to the normal world was a Zai corporation. Compensating? Well, <laughs> you certainly don't sound too calm about this. On the surface, the Zai corporation is legal, but it really is just a Sowa branch company. Basically, the Zai Corporation is just a fund for Sowa. It manages the group's financial affairs like real estate, construction, tourism, dining, theme parks, golf courses, and much more. Sorry about that cut there. Uh, I just got a phone call. Now we're back. Our revenue compares favorably with even the biggest legitimate corporations. Where's my... Unfortunately, we have some disputes with other organizations within the circle. For example, the person yelling in my ear right now. Oh, excuse me. Of course, these types of conflicts are common in business, and they should be common sense by now. Yet these accusers are still stuck in their own ways of settling things with informal dealings like this. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but... There wasn't anything that suggested only you could open clubs and hotels there. He's right. <laughs> I knew about it. I also know about these hotels and clubs make up most of his revenue. Nothing in this world remains constant, even long terms, collaborations. Otherwise, you never see divorces, right? Oh. His breathing became wild. Tani san you seem to misunderstood something. This isn't about us trying to take over your turf. We're merely expanding our market. It's just that our company worked a little harder than yours. This is a legitimate business within the context. Is there really any need to ask for a competitor's opinion on how we should conduct ourselves? At that moment, I heard something break at the under end of the line. He probably kicked over his desk out of anger, insulted that he was being criticized by a mere lad. Technically, I'm not part of the family. Uh, anyways, Azai Gonzo never taught me such courtesies. Azai Gonzo told me this instead. When talking to idiots like this, man, one must have the mind of a hunter before his prey. Oh, sorry to change the subject, but I believe your company has a lot of cash at hand, right? Ooh. They came from illegal... Illegitimate business deals, didn't they? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that got me. I checked up on your company's recent actions. I found contracts from backdoor dealings in order to conceal your income in numerous bank accounts using fictitious names. Don't you think the police would be interested in these documents? <laughs> I didn't let up. I'll just go ahead and make these public then. I can imagine the expression on his face. Of course not. I've always preferred legal methods when it comes to settling disputes. As long as you can accept our recently opened clubs and hotels in the central district, I'll be quite satisfied. A murderous cry poured from the receiver. It was filled with humiliation. And with that, he finally surrendered. After all, I held the ace. 
all that's left is to put just a tiny bit more pressure on him. Well then, it's been nice talking to you. Damn. When I put down the phone, I checked my email and picked up the phone once more. Hey, it's Kyosuke. Thanks for taking my call. This has been my life ever since I met Azai Ganzo. I'm calling to speak about the bill from the Sowa Management Company. An enormous sum of cash circulates under my direction. Yet I'm not even a formal employee of the Anzai Corporation. Yes, I read your proposal, but that's not enough. I'm just a student, but my decisions can cause companies to go bankrupt. Or even condemn people to ruins. Yes. Generally speaking, a company needs to prepare three copies. The only thing I learned up until now is that money is everything. One copy for the shareholder, one copy for the bank, and one copy for the business you're dealing with. Of course, each copy needs to be slightly different. I'm sure you know this, right? Everyone, everyone lives for money. Their lives resolve around money. <laughs> That's correct. No, 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 that company won't last for us longer if you ask me. Sure. Age, sex, occupation, none of these matter when compared alongside one cumul one's accumulative wealth. Not at all. If you're happy with my advice, I can give you as much as you want. Right? Everyone fears and respects me. But I won't stop here. I want more power. At the moment, it's just the Anzai, Corpora Anzai Corporation, but someday I'll take over Sola. And then I'll have power to affect society as a whole. Politicians, CEO of multinational corporations, they all bow before me. What is I want? What I want is the position of a puppet master in the shadows. It's just like, so you're going to be a hero, huh? Then I'll, like what? A sharp pain is throbbing in my forehead. What's going on? The person on the other line asked. Ah, it's nothing. I look forward to doing more business with you in the future. I quickly hang up the phone. I never bother to remember anything from my daily life that doesn't have anything to do with money. School, for example. I rested for a while in the living room. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll stop right here and we'll finish it next episode or we'll continue next episode Kyosuke this guy this guy is something else he's a money guy ooh and I love me some money guys that sounded weird bye guys <laughs>